my name is uh, Cake. I am Brad. And we got the names um, because we told someone on the trail uh, that uh, the American bread tastes like uh, the German cake because it's so sweet. And that's why we're cake and bread. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy baked goods, so yeah. <laughs> I think those are good names to have. <laughs> Well, I mean, you could have done a lot worse, like stinky pits or something like that. <laughs> <That's funny. clears throat> and uh, so, uh, you guys are from Germany, right? Yeah. And uh, what brought you to the U.S. to in in had you end up on the AT? Uh, we just had the time. I um, finished my study, and um, at the sixth of July and the tenth of July, we flew to the U.S. for the Appalachian Trail. I think it's the right time to do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just came with her. I have like a sabbatical from work and uh, we have the three months time. And we thought about what to do with the time and uh, yeah, usually we go by bike, motorbikes. And this time we thought about uh, just doing it by foot. <laughs> right on. I imagine it would be a little bit difficult to have a motorbike on the AT. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but... <laughs> I mean, you have to carry it in some places, yeah. but... <laughs> so, uh, so, have you done any, any hiking on the trails in Europe then? Sure we yes. did, yeah. We hiked uh, at the, uh, in, in the Alps. In the Alps and, uh, but only day hikes up to now, uh, up, up before we came to the Appalachian Trail. I understand that um, there's a lot more uh, little towns and places to stop along the Alps than there are here. Yes, so, so, but here you have like the possibility to do this uh, long distance uh, hiking. So uh, we don't have like uh, um, trails that are like 2,000 miles long. <laughs> and that's uh, why we came here to do it. <laughs> so. Right on. I think it's cool that you guys are doing this together. Um, have you uh, have you hooked up with other hikers? I mean, have you like been traveling with other people, or just the two of you? Um, well, we have had one day we hiked with another girl, girl but um, usually we hike uh, uh, in the group of two. Yeah. <laughs> so we are out of the season, and uh, yeah, I think we kind of like it because uh, we're not in the big bubble of people and so we meet people but not too many and we have the silence of the forest <laughs> yeah yeah I imagine that the solitude in the nature is the biggest draw anyway so yeah. why wouldn't you want to be alone yeah I mean it's it's always nice to have like uh, some community in the shelters in the evening or in the hostels uh, but uh, I think on the t uh, daytime while you're walking it's quite nice to be on your own or like the group of two. <laughs> <laughs> nice, very nice. And um, have you guys uh, have you guys had any bear encounters? Yeah. Yes, we had. Uh, <laughs> we saw four bears. Um, one at the shelter. Um, we were ten people, but the bear wasn't scared, and he grabbed the backpack from a guy and uh, ran around the shelter. Um, that was the smokies, yeah. But usually the bears were quite, uh, they were nice, so <laughs> they didn't they seem, seem friendly to bears. trouble. Friendly so <laughs> they, were, were they, yeah. they were kind to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, any other wildlife? Have you had any kind of critter encounters? Uh, we saw just like uh, deer, a lot of deer, and uh, I think I don't know, we saw snakes, snakes <laughs> a lot of snakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you guys feel about snakes? Um, we don't know if they... Um, um, we don't know which ones are venomous and which yeah. ones not. So we, now we know some of them. <laughs> yeah, I think um, usually we just try to make a big... Uh, and so go around them and just not to disturb them. and and they are fine <laughs> and we are fine <laughs> yeah so uh, did, where did you guys start and where are you doing a whole through hike we started at uh, Amicolola Falls in Georgia um, but we have only those three months and we can cannot do the whole thing uh, we tried to get to the area of Washington DC maybe 100 miles before Harpers Ferry 
Okay, cool. Well, I mean, you don't have to go all the way through to enjoy your hike. Everybody hikes their own, right? Yeah, that's right. Maybe maybe we come back sometime, we don't know, <laughs> and do the rest. Sure, why not? <laughs> and um, so uh, you guys aren't really like pushing hard for miles, you're not racing or anything? No, I don't think so. So maybe maybe I'm more like the one who is, who is trying to push and she's more the one who, who is trying to get me back and relax more. <laughs> but uh, I think we do an average of like 15 miles maybe. Uh, some 20s, some 10s. So. I mean, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's it's. We're not slow, but I think we're we're, we're doing okay. So it's not too much and not too slow. I think we found like a a balanced uh, yeah thing to do. Have you had any accidents or injuries? No. Not till now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so knock on I wood. Always, I always have problems with my knees, but uh, I think. You seem pretty healthy. Yeah, I've seen you. I've seen a lot of beat up looking hikers, and that's that's not these guys. <laughs> Thanks for that. Only trouble with the yellow jackets. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a lot of. That's uh, 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 wildlife we saw a lot, like yellow jackets, <laughs> and they are they are uh, they are really um, dangerous because uh, like. I mean, they are dangerous for me because uh, Connie seems to be, they, they are not interested in Connie, but, <laughs> but they are interested in me, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't be so sweet. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, that's the cake thing, maybe, I don't know. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you, uh, what's your favorite piece of gear? Have you found a, p a particular piece of gear that you're using every day that you're so glad that you have? <laughs> Good question. I, have, I, have, I mean, it, it must be the, the, the backpack because uh, without a backpack we can't do anything. But I think I like my tent, so or our tent. It's <laughs> it's really good. What and kind of backpack are you using? Uh, we're using an Os Osprey, so I have the Osprey Atmos. Uh, I have the same one for Rumens. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's not the lightest one, but it's okay. We're fine with it. <laughs> right on. And how about the tent? What kind of tent you got? Oh, it's a, a, um, a special one. It's like a small company from the Netherlands called Nigor, and uh, it's quite light. Um, weighs like uh, four pounds for two people, so it's okay. That's impressive. So yeah, we thought about uh, changing to hammocks, but it wouldn't save us weight, so we're fine with that. And it's quite big, so we have space enough. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. And uh, if you were going to give some advice to aspiring Appalachian Trail hikers, what advice would you give to them? <laughs> oh, that, that, that's difficult. <laughs> no, uh, don't take too much uh, gear with you. <laughs> you will lose it anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why there's full hiker boxes everywhere you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, there are some things you really need, but yeah, most of it is just, you think you need it, but you never really use it. And, get rid of the stuff. <laughs> right on. And what do you guys think of Angel's Rest here? It's really nice so far. So yeah, we like it. Cool. Well, <laughs> we're really glad that you guys stopped in to stay with us. <laughs> and I appreciate you taking a few minutes to uh, have a little chat with me and my camera here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that's it. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs>